I'm Dr. Rosalind George from Wilmington Dermatology Center in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I'd like to give you some tips on opening and closing your pores. So one of the most common myths is that you can change your pore size. Unfortunately, pore size is determined from your genetics, and there's really That being said, there are a lot of tricks that you can use if you want to open up your pores or if you want to close your pores. Um, to open your pores, the old trick that you probably heard from your grandmother or your mother was to put a pot of water on the stove, uh, get up some steam, put your head under you know, a towel over the steam and that will help open your pores and that really will work. Other things that you can do um, is seek help from a professional. Um, there are a lot of prescription products that you can use that will help open up your pores. The most common one is uh, Retin-A um, and basically what it does is it keeps your skin cells from being sticky. So if your skin cells can't stick together, you can't get clogged pores. The other thing that you can look for is products that have alpha hydroxy acids in them like glycolic or lactic acid or beta hydroxy acids like salicylic acids which are also good things to open up the pores. On the opposite end of the spectrum you can have open pores um, and how you want to close those instead of using heat you can use cold. So an ice pack, um, splashing your face with cold water, that's one of the quick tricks. Um, other than that, it's really, really hard to get your pores to shrink. Both L'Oreal and Neutrogena make a pore refining cleanser, which will give you some temporary relief. And then you really need to seek the help of a professional where they can do chemical peels, microdermabrasion, and give you some prescription products that can help minimize the appearance of your pores. That was some basic information, but before you start any skincare program or have any procedures, please consult with your dermatologist or skincare specialist.